Hello everyone. You are listening and watching to a very special podcast. Today's podcast, I'm going to be talking to you about this one girl who is similar to Barrera. No twin sister there. More like a half-sibling. She may not have Barrera's face or hair, but she does have one thing in mind. She has the same powers as Barrera. Yep, that's right. This is the half-sister of Barrera Dublin. Her name is Katrina Salvatore, and I'm going to be explaining her point of view. So enjoy! Katrina Salvatore was getting ready for her bath. While she let the water running, she couldn't help but think of some thoughts in her head. She has been through a lot. So much guilt and pain going through her. She didn't know what else to do. She had been hurt for some reason. And also, there was so much remorse in her. People think she didn't really care. She looked in the mirror and saw her baggy eyes, which drooped. Her eyes were so red. There was also untidy hair. She wore nothing but PJs, but she decided to strip them off and also the rest of her clothes. The bathtub was already full, except for a few bubbles. The bubbles really covered up her body as she was in there. Katrina began to sink into the water. She stayed there underwater for a while until she came up for air. Gasping, she decided to rest in the bathtub, but not for long. She got dressed. She went under the covers and she began to fall asleep. But all she could have nightmares about was a gun at her. Pow went the gun, and everything flashed white. Katrina woke up from her sleep. She spent the rest of the night trembling. Katrina went through a lot lately. She was a child. She had a father that hurt her and also her mother. Her mother, Hilda, was now some sort of emotionally unstable and mentally insane woman who had been through a lot. She suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder, which caused her to have these horrible nightmares and have troubled of anxiety. It felt like 10 times her anxiety. And also, she believed that she committed an awful sin. But she felt pretty normal when she took her medicine. She always got her things done. But also, at the same time, she couldn't help but not take it because sometimes she get horrible flashbacks horrible things in her head. Katrina didn't want to put her problems on her mother since all the stuff she's been through. The last time her mother found out something went wrong, she completely flipped. And she would shout and say things like how the demons are going to be coming and all hell would break loose. And Katrina 
tried her best to calm her mother down. What happened to Katrina? Why was she like this? Well, when she was a kid, she and her mother were both abused. But there was something more deeper. During her childhood, after her father left when she was about in her almost younger teens, Katrina found a photo of her father, but with two different people. It made sense. He abandoned them. He wasn't coming back. Katrina was so angry that she tore up the photo. She was really, really upset. She was so full of anger when she went into middle school and high school. There she became the most popular girl. Well, one of the most popular girls. But she used that popularity to put down others. Those that were uncool, clumsy, and also pathetic. Once that was over, Katrina would go home and cry, feel so bad for the people that she tormented. She couldn't believe that she had to befriend people, that all they do was torment others, and she didn't want to feel left out, and she joined in. Katrina was really upset herself. She was so full of anger, she didn't know how to vent it out. She wished she could take it back, but it was already too late. Two students who had always been bullied and always the so-called butt of the jokes decided to get their revenge and they took guns to the school and started a shooting. Katrina was traumatized and saw so many people die, but the worst one of all, one of the girls named Lenore, which Katrina was acquainted with, Lenore was a pure yet spiritually religious girl. She was also a martyr. A martyr was someone who believed in a higher power and thought that their savior, Yahweh, would die for them and they would die for their religion. Katrina watched in horror as Lenore, who said that she believed in the Good Shepherd, and she was killed for that. Katrina was frightened by this. She couldn't believe it that she, along with some other kids, had caused these two to start a shooting. Once then, there were police coming in. Luckily, the two shooters did not find Katrina. She was lucky to be alive. Deep down, she didn't feel so lucky. There, she saw the two shooters waving out at the cops and also with their guns. But then, there were multiple shootings. Katrina looked out and she saw the two boys were dead. Katrina broke down crying, really upset. Her mother did not know about this, and Katrina did not tell. Her mother really never watched TV. Sometimes she would be just sitting there reading her book. Her mother never really watched the news. Sometimes she would watch programs such as things about medical health and by health for something medical it meant emotional and mental sometimes Hilda would be seen praying 
Katrina sometimes would come in and pray with her. But Katrina was so filled with guilt, she couldn't help but do anything. And also, she dropped her friends after finding a viral video of them celebrating, and they were so drunk over the fact that the two shooters were dead. Katrina was disgusted. So, she deleted it. All contacts. Except for a few nicer friends. But they soon grew apart from Katrina. Katrina had never felt so alone. She felt like a monster of what she did. She was so filled with anger, but that was no excuse. She felt so angry. So she decided to punish herself. She created bruises and contusions across her skin. She beat herself, but she made sure her mother didn't hear. But Katrina knew that this wasn't working. There has to be another way. I can't keep tormenting myself like this. She told herself. But then, Katrina knew that something was about to happen. One day, while she was being pestered by people who saw the incident and knew that she was one of the tormentors, Katrina begged to be left alone, but all they did was try to hurt her even more. Katrina was so scared and she was so distressed that she decided to take her own life. And while she did try to do that, she felt herself flying in the air. She levitated for a while, and then she found herself moving objects with her mind. She can see things before they happened, and also she can heal easily. No matter how many times she's injured or in a fatal condition, she would always regenerate. She couldn't believe it. What the hell's happening to me? She wondered. One day, Katrina decided to go for a walk. She wasn't going to be long. However, she looked over to see a glowing light coming from a wishing well. Katrina decided to look at the wishing well, and she, she glanced inside. She thought she saw something colorful at the end. As she tried to go a little bit closer, she felt as if someone just lifted her off from her feet and pushed her down. Katrina fell. She fell into the colorful spiral right down the wishing well. Unknowingly to her, a new journey of atonement was about to begin, and there were other worlds going on, going through catastrophe, and it looked like destiny was calling. That's the end of Katrina's point of view. Stay tuned for more. I'm Captain Donovan, and I'll see you next time.